Mail has been delivered to this address for years. And this car is clearly not going anywhere anymore. The Christmas lights are still hanging on the outside of this building. But inside its walls, there is not much more atmosphere to discover. Willem, this was the home of a large American family of no less than seven children. Laura and Tuck got married in the early 1940s and took care of the upbringing of all these children, who went on to have glittering careers one by one. Cora was the eldest daughter of the children and worked as a high school teacher. In her room we found out she was awarded various times for best teacher of the year. Lola, another daughter, did faithful service for the US Air Force until her health finally no longer allowed it and she was hospitalized several times with cardiovascular complaints. Mother Laura's health was also not on skates, and she died at a fairly young age, after which the aunt took care of the younger children in the family. Twenty fourteen is the last day that can still be found in the house, and ever since then the property has been uninhabited and left to the fate of nature. According to records, most of the children are still alive and live in nearby towns, but who seemingly not have any interest in the property anymore. Thus, the property is a gloom victim of befalling an unpredictable future. Today, I will disentangle what's left behind in this home after all these years of vacancy. We just wanted to turn the car because we spotted an abandoned house. We drove up this driveway and it seems that we found another abandoned house here in America right in front of us. We don't know anything from the inside yet but we found a window to be open right over there so we're gonna check it out. It is a little bit scary but yeah let's see what we will encounter inside and hopefully no homeless person or anything. Entering this place was exciting. Luckily, we did not find any people to still live inside the walls of this home. But the place appeared to be a real time capsule, with everything left behind of the past, frozen in time. Yet, after a while of being inside, a car suddenly stopped in front of the property and we had to escape in order not to get caught. So we just had to run away because there were all of a sudden two people standing on a drive lane. Maybe somebody saw us entering the property and called them. Uh, we actually managed to escape in time through the back side of the property where we could open a window. We run away. Maybe we will go back but we are now driving back to them, checking what the situation is, if they're gonna check the property right now. Uh, I'm really happy that Leslie actually saw them right in time and we had enough time to escape. 
Yeah, absolutely. I, I heard a honk from a car outside and I thought, let's just look for uh, through the window just to be sure. And I looked through the window and I saw a man with a, with a yellow cap on his head looking at the building. So uh, I was immediately, I called Mo and he came over. Yeah, there was also a car parked yeah. on the drive lane of them. So They're now with two people there. It's so the right decision to go immediately out of the building and uh, look at the situation. Don't take any no, risks. Absolutely not. So uh, yeah, we're almost back at the property. We're gonna check if they're still there. If they are now checking the house, it's probably a no-go to go back. Um, yeah. At least we are now in the car, but wow. That was quite an adrenaline rush uh, going through my veins. We're almost there, I believe. Yep. Oh my gosh, we just passed the property and police was standing there with the lights on and apparently I think the two owners uh, they were checking the past I can't believe we got this lucky we just managed to escape in time otherwise we would have been caught by police inside the property this really makes us aware of the risks exploring in the United States the police was really quickly there really quickly like literally five minutes after the guy was standing there yeah oh my god I can't believe it I mean, we were shaking. We had okay. to pass the Can police. Drink here or something. Yeah, or maybe go further. Yeah, that's my maybe a very good idea. But anyway, um, wow! Well, I can't believe we got away with this. We can be very lucky. I tried to film it, but actually my camera was turned off. We didn't want to be too conspicuous too. But we were really shaking, and we were very afraid because we wanted to check out what the situation was. And luckily they were busy with something else. They did not see the car of us passing by. Otherwise we would probably have a police chase right now. Man, a really beautiful place. Absolutely. Absolutely abandoned too, but... Yeah, they still care about it. They still care about it. I'm happy that they still care about it. That's probably also the reason why it's still in such good condition. Yeah, the grass was mowed and everything, so somebody takes care of it. Yeah. Oh man, can't believe it. I'm gonna chill out for a bit now before exploring the next place. Uh, I really cannot believe we got away with this. Man, that was literally like a matter of five minutes. Absolutely. If I hadn't seen the guy, we would be have been caught. Yeah. Absolutely, 100%. That's like a gut feeling. You, th you think like, you hear something, you think, ah, oh, there might be something. I don't check it often. I, I was literally listening to music inside of the place, but I heard one honk and it's like a gut feeling like, hmm, this is not right. And then I look out of the window, and there we go, I was standing. So sometimes you have to feel, trust your gut and just yeah. go with it. Anyway, guys, uh, see you later at the next place. We're gonna chill out for a bit now. Okay, so we relaxed for a little bit. We had some pizza at the gas station right now. We are at the next check abandoned place that we've actually seen no satellites. We're gonna check it out. The driveway looks very overgrown. So we're almost 100% sure that this is not our abandoned place, but we don't know if it's any good. That's what we're probably gonna find out. Leslie's coming as well. He's still shaking a little bit. <laughs> from the devastating event that happened. But let's go check this one out. Yeah, at least this one is like 100% abandoned. Driveway hasn't been used for ages. Always after such an adrenaline moment, you are feeling kind of tired because it boosts so much energy in your body and after it happens, you are like, oh, so tired. Also, really. Oh, yeah, there is still a barbecue over there. It's funny. The building is very overgrown. You can almost not see it anymore. Yeah, maybe it's just a shed. Maybe. Yeah. 
Yep. That's also sometimes the case. What's the structure next to it? I don't know. Oh, that seems like a very old cabin. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but we were always doing it the difficult way. <laughs> ah, that's nothing, man. That's nothing anymore. Oh, this used to be something with the. Uh, no, yeah. Nothing is left of it. It's like a tower of Jenga that has collapsed. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, time is taking its toll on this very old log cabin. <laughs> Still. Okay, let's go to the next one. Yeah, next oh, one. It's also sometimes the case you think you see a roof on satellite, but then it appears to just be a shed. <sighs> on to the next one, which is only a couple minutes away. On the street, there are so many abandoned places here. You really do not know where to look. For us, the United States so far is a real paradise for finding these places. There are even way more abandoned houses than we will find in Europe. In Europe, you sometimes have to search for an hour or multiple hours, but over here, every five, 10 minutes, we find something. That's great, I love it. The days are too short, man. Yeah. Winter time right now, so sun sets very early. I think in an hour from now it will be completely dark. Now we can't check yeah. anymore. Get dark so early and checking in the dark is not a good idea. Not yeah. a good idea because you have to use light. And in Europe we do it. Neighbors will see you. Not as serious about it in Europe. People yeah. are, uh, yeah, I regard trespassing as like friendly entering a home, but over yeah. here they see it as a big felony. That's why we were also so afraid. And yeah. We really were. We got lucky on the previous spot. I can't say it enough times. We're gonna search for another one today before it gets dark, hopefully. So let's continue. Numero dos. Okay, let's try this one. Number two. <laughs> ah, over there I see the house. At least it looks like a house, I think. So that's dilapidated. Yeah, but the house still looks like it's in good shape. How's yeah. Windows are already it's broken. Falling apart, but the house itself is still okay. You don't even see this house from the road. No, it's uh, overgrown by nature. Man. <laughs> There is again some stuff standing inside. Not much, but I can shine a light in there. Yeah. It's pretty much... I think the door is just wide open. Look at the seat standing here. Outside of the house. The whole seat. Just imagine that one day, just chilling in the front porch. It's a beautiful little seat. Yeah, like many of the places. No. Some people smash the windows. It does look quite empty. Also very dark in here. This place has definitely been vandalized. It's strange compared to many others we've seen. To see some vandalism in this one. Look at the couch standing here. This is crazy. It would be upright. What? Oh man, the floor is very weak again. That's definitely some vandalism. Yeah, it's clear vandalism. I think these young people thought it was funny to put the couch up, upside down. Zero respect, man. Zero point zero zero. It has been abandoned for a long time. Yeah, that's one thing for sure. I find it strange though that this place got vandalized and the others 
are still so pristine and they were so close to this one. Graffiti on the wall? There's not like graffiti on the walls, but it's just like people overthrow everything when they come inside. Yeah. Unfortunately. This is the last room. Also used to be a bedroom one day. Yeah, nice little explore. Not too exciting, but yeah, just nice to relax now for a I, bit. I love the 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 porch. This thing has been standing here for a long time. Just spider webs already covering it. Yeah. There's even some feces down here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to the next one. On to the next one. So it's four days later after the police was standing in front of this property and we are back guys. We're officially back in this beautiful abandoned time capsule house. And yeah, we sneaked in very early in the morning and today I'm gonna document it for you. So I firstly want to tell you a brief story about the family that lived there. It was actually a big family that lived there. They were African-American and they actually were with seven children at home. I believe it were five girls and two boys and eventually they lost their mother and they had an aunt, Lola, that was actually taking care of the children that were still living here. The family name was Solomon and the house actually became abandoned around 2014. So it has been abandoned now for around seven years. But the state of this repair is unbelievable. Some floors are so close to collapse. There are even certain areas in the house where we cannot even walk anymore. We really have to be careful. I give it only a couple more years and one entire part of this property will have leveled. So yeah, it is an amazing place, an untouched place for many parts. And today we're gonna explore it all together. Because it is in such a terrible state of disrepair and there is advanced decay inside, I'm gonna wear some protection to protect my lungs and airways from all the dust and debris, but also asbestos uh, and mold that is inside the building. And now it's time to explore. So we're firstly gonna start this exploration in one of the bedrooms. The room where we also entered and saw the first when we actually came in here. I'm gonna try to give you as much as the experience as we had when we actually discovered this truly unique abandoned house. We still have a lot of pumps and shoes from the lady scattered around on the floor. I'm just gonna start over here in the corner of this room. We have this beautiful cabinet. There are just a lot of bags in this drawer. This one's empty. So there is over here a letter to Cora, that was one of the daughters, children that lived there. A dictionary. Where we have a very old picture. It's actually a part of a picture, the other half is missing. Wow, we're gonna find so many old pictures inside this home. A picture of a baby over here. Got a lamb in the corner. And look, they were Roman Catholic, so Easter was very important for them to celebrate. They could lay the eggs all around 
in this little scale over here. Still the two porcelain bunnies are standing on it as well. There's even advertisements from a funeral home. Probably many people that we are gonna see in the pictures have actually already deceased. Oh, wow. Look over here, it's saying happy 101st birthday, boo. That must be the grandmother. I think the woman sitting over here on the table. She actually turns 101 years old. What an unbelievable age. Over here we have this little pharaoh statue. Oh, all right, this is a trophy teacher of the year. It's for Cora. Now, I'm not sure if Cora was actually the mother, but she was the teacher of the year. You can see the apple over here. She was a high school teacher. So one of the people that was living here was a high school teacher. We also still got this magazine also written to Cora, saying Ebony, dating 2007. Over here we got many more other pictures from the African-American family. Again, two awards to Cora for Teacher of the Year winner, 2001-2002. Wow, look at all those old photos, guys. It's so sad to see all those memories just fade to dust. It seems that really nobody is actually looking after this house anymore. Because the people that were standing in front of the property the last time and called the cops, they're actually not the owners. I think they saw Leslie when he went back to his car. Oh my freaking gosh. Guys, have a close look at this picture. Try to remember it. Because this picture is in the main living room. At least I believe. Yeah, it is the main living room. 100%. Just try to remember this photo. See how joyfully the people are sitting in their living room, having fun times. Seems that they are unpacking presents, maybe during Christmas time. That's so beautiful. Where is the little old camera? We can definitely see their religious faith also coming back in the design of this clock. This is a book, so I think they were trying to symbolize the Holy Bible with it. There are so many boxes. All of them are filled with clothes and shoes. We're gonna have a lot to see in this place. There are so many details to point out. And so many things to roam through. Over here again, a beautiful picture for people. See a woman and a man and two children in the front. So maybe the woman on the right was Mrs. Cora. Oh, Miss America, it's saying at the daughter. So she might have been like Miss America Junior or something. That is unbelievable, guys. Always love these old quotes in these American homes. Look how many pictures we have over here. This one is entirely covered in rare droppings. I 
again leave all those beautiful memories that are just left forgotten inside this place. It's so sad. We even got a marriage certificate over here, guys. From 1975. Actually, two new names that I haven't seen yet. Seeing so many pictures really makes you wonder who the people in these pictures are or where and in which way they were related to the family or the people that were once living here. The only thing that remains right now is a memory. Those ones are quite stuck. It seems that there are a lot of bags and products. It even looks like a present away or something. Guys, nice look, it's still filled. It's like a perfume that's a perfume collection that they probably got as a present. Maybe some medicines over there. Take one three times a day till all gone. There is no name written on this. Oh, there is. Lara. So a new name. We got Cora and we got Lara. And Lara was also the name that was written on the marriage certificate. She was married with a man named Tuck. So what do we have over here? Got a lot of books. Also some religious ones. Those look like songs. Nowhere is a holy Bible. Oh my gosh, I just touched those books. Just have a look how many spiderwebs are around my hand right now. I can be 100% sure to say that really nobody has entered this place for a long time or touched the items within. So we got another bedroom right there. There are two giant white teddy bears with a Christmas tree pullover on it. And a lot of clothes as well. Looks like they tried to collect them, put them together, actually recuperate them, but somehow nobody ever came back to reclaim all the stuff. Strangely enough. can really tell how many red and mice have made their way inside this building throughout the years. I don't know what's inside of here. I think it was maybe by binoculars. Oh no, there is a camera, guys. Whoa, look at this. Maximatic. 
<laughs> that is so cool. Prisoners of Hope. The story of our captivity and freedom in Afghanistan. That's something very specific. Those are just a lot of envelopes. It's saying American Heart Association, which could mean that one of the latest residents had a heart disease or they were maybe working for it. But if I look to this page, current medications, let's see. It's pretty faded, it's hard to read. But it looks like somebody had to take a lot of pills. And that somebody was actually Mrs. Lola. Mrs. Lola was in the medical center here in Georgia. Oh, and over here we can see what she had. Chronic hypertension. Yep, chronic hypertension. That's a pretty difficult disease to live with because it means it starts at a young age and you have to take pills all your life. This really looks like a stock photo because it looks so modern compared to the other ones. Another paper over here. Yeah, this, oh, look at this guys. Digital mammography. And this is again for Lola. Probably this was like the, the screening, yeah. You see the screening to detect early breast cancer. Like all the women on the go. Jikes, this looks disgusting. There is so much feces over there. Television here. Also look over here at the front entrance. There is again so much feces. I'm gonna stop pointing out feces, guys. Let's go to this cute little baby doll over here. <laughs> Some other baby toys, so you can definitely tell that more little children were also living here one day. With this beautiful washing table over here. The porcelain bowl and jug. Wow. Even a little mirror over here. It's quite antique. I also really love those vintage televisions. You tend to find them more over here in the United States in comparison with Euro. I really like them. This is a Zenit, probably an American brand. I guess this was probably like an old fashioned antenna to get some signal for the television. All right, well, with that having shown, I think we explored this room in and out. And it's time to move on to the next room. And that one is right in front of me. This room is in such a dilapidated state. You can tell that the ceiling over there has already collapsed for a big part. And all the discarded rubbish it's just littering over here in the bed. All the debris also laying over here in the pillow. It's unbelievable to see this in such a state, such an advanced state of decay. Over here we even have the frame saying mother, a mother holds her child's hand for a short while, but their heart forever. Oh my gosh. This was even to regulate the temperature inside the home. You can also see all the debris laying on that. 
unbelievable. Like I told you, this place has undergone significant natural decay throughout the years. And let's see what we can find over here. We've got some receipts. There is a little letter written to Mrs. Lola again. So we got Lola, Cora and Laura. Three women so far. Part of a watch. You often see these boxes with shells. They were mostly used to hold jewelry like earrings or something. Again, some medicines for Mrs. Lola. For a chronic hypertension, we find them everywhere. In the sideboards, in the drawers. Moldy purrs over here. <laughs> Look at this, guys. We still got some hair clamps as well. Looks like this even was never used. Still pristinely left in the box. Okay, so over here we have another name. Let's see. At least I thought it was an other name, but it looked more like a product name. Yeah, it's not saying a name. It's just a receipt. What's in this box? Oh, this is also full of clothes. Children's clothes even. And over here, in this box, there are a lot of shoes, as you can see. There are so many clothes and items just left to waste in this home. Items that are just left unloved and are disused. Where we got a CD sang by Jolanda Adams, Mountain High, Valley Low. And then look at this, it's unbelievable. We even still have jewelry hanging and even sitting over here, the air bells, earrings. It's still left guys, it hasn't been stolen. It's unbelievable to encounter something like that. Look, even you can see the tiny strings of cobwebs on these items. I'm not even gonna touch it anymore. I wanna preserve it the way it is. A little bottle of perfume over here on the ground too. Gonna put that back on the table. Looks like there's mostly paperwork in here and you can tell animals have also been in the drawers. A lot of lighters over here, so maybe one of the people that left there also smoked. Let's see, plenty of envelopes over here. Here again for Mrs. Lola. So yeah, Lola, we think Lola was the aunt that was actually taking care of the children when the mother passed, as I told you in the introduction. Can't even close it up anymore. This was definitely the vanity of a woman. I can't believe the amount of pictures and memories in this place. There are too many. Where is a dad note? Probably from a friend or relative. And finally on top of here, got some pictures. Picture of this boy. Picture of those two children, even 
from this boy who's playing basketball. 97 it's saying here. Right behind these curtains is another door. It's leading to the front porch outside. I love the carpets on the ground as well. Watch this over here. Oh, there's another informative sheet about high blood pressure. As you can see, it's the process of atherosclerosis. So yeah, it was definitely something that was keeping Lola busy in her life, coping with disease like chronic hypertension. Really wondering who Lola exactly is in the pictures. Because it seems there was an aunt Lola, but there was also one of the daughters that was named Lola. Nice little desk over in the front. Some shoes over here. There's so much to see in this home. So much stuff and so many items. I cannot even believe it. And the panel that's laying over here on top of the bed. It's the exact panel that has fallen down from there. Look at all these medicines over here. This used to be inside here. You probably curious to see what's behind this door. It's actually a built-in wardrobe, also still filled with clothes. Those are some diapers. Well, to give you a little overview of how the room looks like from this perspective. Guys, it's unbelievable. My complete camera is stuck in cope webs. Look at all the debris over here that litters the floor. My gosh. Actually right behind me, there is a bathroom. But if you're gonna see this, you're even not gonna believe it. I really have to be careful at this point. We got the washer and the dryer over here. But still, it seems the last laundry that was done. But guys, have a look at this. The bathtub is almost close to level with the ground. It's still even full of water. That's probably leakage coming from the roof. We got the little shower over there as well. This is unbelievable. <laughs> look at it. My freaking gosh. It's 
completely emerging in the basement. Also still the tiny ornaments over here on the shelves, right above the toilet. It's unbelievable, this place is a ticking time bomb. And it will really not last long until all the parts on this side of the building will entirely collapse. Now what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna walk to that side, walk all around the building to eventually come in that room over there, which is the kitchen. And then we will end in the most amazing untouched room. I'm gonna save the best for last because that's right behind that door. We are firstly gonna head through this direction and this room is quite messy. I have to admit. There is a lot of stuff just thrown around. A lot of clothes. As you can see, we have a quite severe presence of black mold over here as well. That's also the reason why I'm wearing a respirator. I don't know why they put the mattresses right in the middle of the room over here. And same for the clothes. Oh my, look at this. We've still got some Gucci sandals. Now, I don't know if they're real, but if they are, they're quite valuable. So many clothes again. You can hear the floor cracking right underneath my feet. As a matter of fact, when we were here a couple days ago, Leslie actually collapsed through the floor. You're about to see where he exactly collapsed through the floor in a bit because there is still a big hole over there. So that really made us aware that this building is in a very poor state and we really have to watch out. It really makes me sad seeing all those things, all those little pots with bills for Lola. This one, yeah, again for Lola. Oh, this was a birthday wish card. Wow. Also, still something inside this little box. Well, there used to be a watch inside. And as you can see, that one is missing. There's a picture of a cruise ship over here. Looks like the carnival, so they probably liked going on cruises as well. Just look how many spider webs there are. <laughs> And this probably used to be another built-in wardrobe, but there was a bad log on it. And we got even more pumps over here on the grounds of one of the ladies that was sleeping in this room. Unbelievable. I think we already found around 20 pairs of pumps. Valentine's Day wish card. Look 
Look how many tablets over here even are. Wow. Another interesting thing over here. Department of Air Force. Certificate of service is prevented in recognition of 10 years of faithful federal service to Lola in 1987. Maybe Lola. Yeah, Lola was definitely, this was for Lola, the, the, the aunt. She had been working for the Air Force. That's so cool. That is so cool, guys. It really makes you wonder, are any of the people in those photos still alive? And if they are, why haven't they come back? At least not yet. And also, why are there no freaking way used an orthopedic surgery and sports medicine again for Mrs. Lola? I think it must have been pretty hard coping with chronic hypertension and at the same time working for a federal service like the Air Force. I mean, is it only me that's thinking that or are there more people with me on this topic? Got some more pictures over here. We've seen a girl quite some times before now and that's her in her younger days. Let's try to cross it over here. There's even a suitcase standing on the bed, like they were trying to pack, but for some reason couldn't take all the stuff with them. I they maybe had to leave in a hurry or something, I don't know. Wow. Well, we can already see four children in the picture. We'll see this man in the picture in the living room too. I think he was the father. I think that was Mrs. Cora that passed away. And then it was Auntie Lola looking after the children. She probably already retired then from the Air Force because she got a certificate in 1987. Well, there are two beds in this room, as you've seen. And over there is a drawing of Garfield. <laughs> a lot of things written around it. And it's saying over there, get well soon. Oh, you know what, guys? This drawing was actually made for Lola when she was in the hospital. And all the people that have written here are saying, get well soon, who loves you, baby, we do. Get well soon, I miss you, love. Yeah, this was for her. She was laying in the hospital for some time. There was also a little guard over there saying, get well soon. Unbelievable. Still so many stories. Sometimes you're really astonished by how many stories these homes can tell. And that's why the abandoned residences are one of my favorite places to document and investigate. Because those were not just buildings, but those were once homes of, of souls of people. All right, over here we have a long corridor. This is a little corridor where we gonna find more bedrooms as well. So right over here we have a little bathroom. I 
very little one. The home features three bathrooms in total. That was probably also well needed when they were living here with seven children and the mother and father in this home. Close aware. So much clothes. So sad again. I don't know, it is a beautiful time capsule to explore. But somehow it also makes me sad. Just speculating about the things that happened here. I really have my questions about some things. We got a bare room over here with three beds. You can tell they were coping a little bit with the amount of space. They actually give rooms to so many children. Three children were sleeping at least in this room together. Animals have also eaten the curtains over there. And with all the black mold spores again on the walls too. The bed over there is even very close to collapse to the floor as well. Got a baby picture over there saying love. And so many clothes once again. You can also see some spots of leakage damage on the ceilings. The roof has definitely a lot of holes and that's causing this property to decay very quickly. Well, the ironing board is at the right spot because over here where the clothes I just showed and over here are even more clothes. The amount of clothes is unbelievable. There's even a hat over here. Now look. <laughs> We can even capture a glimpse of the bathtub over there. There's just a hole in the wall. Yep, that's a dangerous place, guys. So much clothes once again. Now this might even be my favorite bedroom but it is a really dodgy one as this one is also very close to collapse. I cannot stand over there because then the floor will really crack. I'll be laying on the ground, but have a look. I think this, yeah, this was definitely the boys' room. As I told you, there were two boys in the family and they were both sleeping together here, one in that bed and one in this bed. They definitely like smoking marijuana too, it seems. They like listening to R&B, rap. Yeah, this is him actually over here in the living room. I think the two boys that were living here. Now let's try to get this sharp for you. That was them. Inside this actual home, guys. Unbelievable. There are so many things on the walls. All around me, from women, from rappers. And other topics that interested them. I see Tupac over there written as well. There is even a wish card over there saying, Ya yeah girl, yo doc, ya yeah home girl, Shay. Happy birthday. <laughs> My gosh. 
There is also a little bit of fog or language that I do not want to read out, just for any younger audience here. What is this? Ofana query. Major offense kidnapping in 2008. They were probably looking for this person. I think he did not live in the house. I think it was not one of the two boys. Let's see, Shedrick L. Kidnapping. Maximum possible release date was 2008. Shedrick L. Does he look like the person in this picture? No, absolutely not. We're not talking about the same people over here. Over here it's getting really dangerous. When I stood here, <laughs> you can see everything move, guys. So this is as far as I'm gonna go. It's still a relatively safe position. But this place, unbelievable. This is definitely by far the best time capsule we found so far in the United States. So together we're gonna continue our way throughout this beautiful home. My gosh. This is the hole I was talking about. When we entered this place, it was firstly still entirely intact. Then when Leslie actually set foot on it, he just cracked with one leg through the basement. And you do not want to fall down because you can definitely get hurt just have a look at the state of this repair also in the kitchen area that we're about to explore next it's unbelievable now firstly we have another bathroom to show you that was the boiler Just another little bathroom. It's quite insane to see how the toothbrushes are also still pristinely standing here. And then finally on the other part of this house, in the corner over here, it seems that they had a little lounging area where they could hang out on the sofas. Still a heater in that box. Got these little stairs over here. It's quite cool how they made that. And we got many more pictures again. Children picture of this boy where they're even playing together inside the home oh there are so many children's shoes over here we're in a corner plenty of storage as you can see over here we have again many more children's shoes I 
I think the woman over here is the same woman over here when she grew a little older. This looks like a quite old memory. Let's try to get a little bit close to there. I think those are the three marriage pictures of the children that lived there and married. Wow. That's amazing. I almost never saw so many pictures inside one abandoned place. We told you when we started this series that America genuinely has amazing places with lots of stories to tell. The only thing is, you just gotta find them. And that's where we've been spending a lot of weeks on finding those secret places. Because this is a spot we discovered on our own while we were driving around. This is another door going to the side garden. I just love to see ornaments like this saying welcome to our home. Everything is just covered in cobwebs. You can tell by the amount of shoes and clothes everywhere with how many people they were living in this home one day. Now what keeps me curious is with so many people, there must be somebody still alive. Now why is it somebody not coming back here? So many items of sentimental value but just nobody seems to care about it anymore. It's so contradictory. Over here we have an award, this trophy for a Hunter student in 1994. And you can also see that one of the daughters loved cheerleading. Another marriage photo. Let's look at this trophy. Oh. It's actually a trophy for a lady in sports. What's this one over here from 1990? Bitwist Classic, first place. That's insane. No, I don't know if I want this. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> oh. That was not filled with food anymore, but really repulsive the smell coming from there. I want to get out of this room, and lastly, we're going to explore the kitchen area, and then finally, the last room will keep you and remains you speechless. It's unbelievable. Let's go there. So we're gonna walk back up these little stairs. I'm gonna make our way to the two last areas of this home. Now this is the part where it gets probably the most dangerous for the entire exploration. Uh, so I gotta make my way over this. Oh my gosh. And there we are, we just made it to their kitchen. And you can already tell by the two large dining tables and the amount of chairs, how many people were having breakfast here together. This home was once filled with joy, filled with life, laughter and activity. Now it's nothing anymore. Ceiling panels are all falling down. I 
Have a look how pristine everything is still standing over here in the cupboards. All their glasses and everything. It has remained completely unspoiled throughout those seven years of vacancy. No freaking way the fridge is even still filled. Oh my freaking gosh. Now that's smelly. There is a calendar over there saying 2002, but that calendar over there is the most recent one we found, dating 2014. Also all the seasoning and spices over here. <laughs> a very rusty tin of cookies that I cannot even open up anymore. So this was their kitchen, where they were making all the meals for the entire family. Even all the tools over there for cooking and stuff are still there. Let's see if the water is still running. Uh, it's turned off. Cutlery, the last dishes that were being done. They left them over here to dry. Even the last meal they were cooking. This is not a setup, guys. This is the way we encountered this place when we entered it. We did not change anything. It's just unbelievable to see how places like this sit vacant in the world, especially in a country where there is a lot of problems with homeless people. I just can't believe it. I think it's quite unique how they have the window over here built. It's actually overlooking the other room that I've just explored. I'm not even gonna open this fridge up anymore because I probably already know that it's entirely filled and it's gonna give a very bad smell. So I hope you're ready now to see the most incredible room in this place. We're gonna rummage through the entire room together, so let's go. It's right in front of me over here. And this living room has remained entirely imperturbable over time. Feels like we're one of the first people entering this room in seven years. Look at all those precious memories hanging on the walls. <laughs> Just can't believe it. Oh, I really love this quote, saying grandmothers are just antique teenagers. <laughs> That's lovely. Now, as a matter of fact, grandmother and great-grandmother Laura, so that was who Laura was, passed away. Those are all the grandchildren, the names written down beneath it. And Laura was also the mother, as you can see, from Cora and even from Lola. So yeah, we got the answer. Lara was the mother, Cora was the teacher, Lola was the person with chronic hypertension, Albert and Selvin were the two boys living here from where the room was, and Gwendolyn and Minnie must have slept in the other room together with the other girls. We got the Roman Catholic artifact over here. Now finally, all these puzzle pieces are falling together. 
while we're exploring this last room now. This room also has the most pictures. Unbelievable. I really cannot believe that somebody just leaves a place like this behind with all those memories and items of sentimental value. Beautiful fireplace over here as well. Such a beautiful room. Even a wonderful grandfather clock over there in the corner. Where are even still coats hanging up? Television is standing over here in the cabinet. So many pictures. I think this was one of the boys that lived there. Selvin or Albert. We've seen this girl plenty of times before now. She could have been Mrs. Cora or maybe Mrs. Lola. I think that's one of the other boys that left there. Oh, looking over there, we got Mrs. Lara. I think she reached the age of 101 years old and was the woman we found in the picture in the first room. And then this was probably a painted portrait of her. So beautiful. Got a newspaper over here or advertisement. It's not saying a date. It's from a local supermarket. Look at the very elegant curtains. I really like them. Oh wow, look at this. We've got a picture of Mrs. Lola in the Air Force. That's her. And over there is Mrs. Lola when she graduated. I think Lola was the oldest one and she eventually took care of all her brothers and sisters that were still a little bit younger. Over there is Mrs. Lara the mother of the family. Finally, all those puzzle pieces are falling together. Over here is again Mrs. Lola saying woman of the year. This was her when she was younger with her husband. Laura and her husband. So that means that this was the father and the mother of the family. And if you look very close to this picture, it's the same woman as in the picture that I just pointed out on this portrait. What a beautiful room. Veritably untouched. If you look to the fan above, you can also tell that woodworm has manifested certain parts. I started eating on the parts of wood. That's why all the debris is around the structure. Even animals have eaten from the sofas and stuff. There are a lot of animals around here because this house is located in a quiet forestal area. This hasn't been open for such a long time. with all those beautiful knickknacks and tiny religious items. Some little shells underneath this beautiful clock. And over here we got the quote, 
from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I have a dream. The very famous quotes that even we Europeans overseas know about. Unbelievable. Another calendar from a Chinese restaurant saying 2013. And finally, we have the last memories over here. Mrs. Laura again, the mother. Some beautiful tiny knickknacks above here. I just can't believe that all of it is withering away. Just to give you the orientation, if I walk outside the living room right now, we are in this bedroom again. So that means, like I told you, we walked all around the building, through the kitchen, and we eventually came in this beautiful room. Now, with that having shown and said, I think it's a good point to end the video right here. I'm going to put off my mask for a bit, so you're able to see my face. And this is a property that left me entirely speechless. I can still not believe very often how people seem to have walked away from a property like this leaving all its precious items, belongings, memories, where they worked all their life very hard for, just left to decompose. It's very hard to believe for me, even though I've seen so many properties like this. In Europe, I was never expecting to find a place like this in the United States. Now, I do hope you enjoyed my respectful tour through the formal property of the Solo Man family. And yeah, if you enjoyed seeing this insight in their life that wants to place here, please smash the thumbs up button just to support me in making more videos like this all over the world. Also feel free to leave your opinion or any thoughts about what could have happened here in the comment section right down below. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notification button if you want to stay updated on all our new episodes of the USA series and also don't want to miss out on anything else that's following in the future. Also, if you would like to contribute to our projects and our travels all around the world, we have created a little Patreon page and a PayPal link that we put right down below in the video description. Of course, this is completely voluntary. And yeah, with that being said, I want to thank you for watching once again, and we will see you on our next adventure in the United States. Peace out.